and welcome back to part uh wait what welcome back to Bl bloodborne <laughs> <laughs> i almost said welcome back to part 13 of bloodborne no <laughs> well y you weren't wrong implying we took know, a mid part the, break <laughs> the, this is the first time <laughs> confused um, them. anyway we're about to enter the worst boss of the game well not yet we still have some areas to explore but uh, the next boss we do fight is the worst boss. But this area is fine. Uh, a little short. Hmm. Especially if you're going through it, like, just as the main story. Because this is technically an optional area. Hmm. Hmm. Um, the downstairs is an optional area. The upstairs is mandatory. But you don't actually... I, I was checking up because there's actually a enemy that blindsides you right there <laughs> but you stop so you ain't gonna get hit yeah it's just there to spook you hmm. a lot of this place is just there to spook you because really they the enemies here can't do very much they're not even worth it for the <laughs> grind so that one guy just like turned to look at you and he didn't do anything <laughs> yeah oh there's a guy here about to steal our books how do you do these are technically uh, corrupted, like, college students, so <laughs> it makes sense that they're throwing cum at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, it, it, if you look at their attacks, like, their ranged attack is them throwing a mysteriously white substance. Mm. Sounds nice and sticky. But anyway, that's enough of the lecture hall. No, seriously, that's the end of the area. <laughs> it, it's a, it's not even two minutes long. So that area is skippable. Uh, no, you do have to go through it. It's um, I mean, yes and no. So you have to go through it as the upstairs for the story to access this area, the Nightmare of Mensis. But it is also a optional area in which you explore the downstairs, and it's much bigger. Oh, I gotcha. Hmm. It also like leads to you fighting an optional boss. Well, they answer my question. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, Read this my was damn mine. This was a surprise to me. Okay, so watch this. Ouch, my ass! So typically, um, I'm running bills at least with some skill. I one shot backstab those guys. I never have to fight them. Or at least my parry is enough to one-shot them. Use the skills or whatever but because I'm doing a strength build, my uh, skill isn't high enough for my visceral attack to kill. I was wondering why you just got back up there. It was like, surprise, not dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, uh, there are worms living in it, and when they die, when the beast dies, the worm pops out. It's kind of creepy, you know. actually, because I forget about it all the time. They don't try to jump inside you, do they? Uh, no, they do. Uh, it just hurts, though. That'd be quite cruel if it could, like, instantly possess you like that, game over. Yeah. Well, there is an enemy that can do that, technically. God damn it, we were just joking, Paul! You'll, you'll see it a bit later, but there is actually an enemy that can just kill you. Um, it's called a Winter Lantern, and I avoid them specifically for the reason, as they terrify me. Um, and... Standing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I caught it this time. Where did you? <laughs> Past Paul since Sunset was about to fuck with him. Yeah, I gotta do this now. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Trying to sell propane and propane accessories to the dead. Oh, you know what? I know what I'm checking on. Okay. Uh, it's not quite uh, ready yet, guide. but I, I do know what I'm checking on. Um. Loading. Yeah, loading screens. Um, you notice I went back to the uh, Central why'd yard. I go here? Oh, you know what? It's because oh. I was trying to see if, um, if she was spawning here yet. She doesn't. 
Um, so remember that uh, lady we picked up all the way back in like part four? Nope. Uh, that's <laughs> that been a while. <laughs> Nearly I, ten bars I can't ago. expect you to. Uh, she gives you a once use healing item that heals you for like 60% of your health instead of 40%. Um, yeah, she's actually a really important quest NPC, because she's there to unlock the true ending. Hmm. You said it's a single-use item? Yeah, so you can only use it once, but you can go back for her once you use it, and then get another one. It's just you can only carry one in your inventory. I see. Yeah. But, uh, she seems to be in pain. Think she what should get tested? Do? I didn't do anything. That's what they all say. It it was the invisible formless god, I swear. Uh-huh. Sure. That's what you always say. <laughs> no, I promise it wasn't. <laughs> I've heard enough. <laughs> Permission to use deadly force. Granted. No. <laughs> I swear I've been watching the hell out of that incorrect summary of uh rising. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've heard enough. Deadly force authorized. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't watched That's that. Don't play Oh, uh, it's hilarious. So I've been watching I really that guy. Recommend it. I've been watching that guy since he released his uh, Bloodborne Incorrect Summarized. Or no, it was his Devil May Cry Incorrect Summarized. And then <laughs> I went back for his Bloodborne one. <laughs> um. Okay, now where am I going? Paul the Globetrotter. The oh. elevator in the universe. Yes, yes, this is, this is where I'm going. Okay. So this is actually... um. A bit of a cleanup part, because um, we actually get to the boss in part fourteen that oh, I hate. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so, so this is a cleanup. Gaslit us. No, I just was wrong. I'm trying to do things to unlock the true ending here. He makes the most sense to do him now. Yeah. I actually um. I, even... I I finished the last of the cleanup at the finale, so... <laughs> I still don't know what gaslighting actually means. I fucking googled it and it didn't tell me shit. Yikes. It's when you, um... D you do know the definition, yeah? I know the definition. Not really. I, I tried looking up the definition and it just like... <laughs> okay, I guess I'm not learning it. Okay, so gaslighting is basically when you lie to someone to make them doubt the truth. It, it comes, the phrase was coined by a story called The Gaslight, where a husband, in order to get a divorce, tried to convince his wife that she was insane and needed to be put away by telling her constantly that even though she was seeing the gaslight and it was lit, he was telling her that it wasn't lit. Huh. It worked, and it's actually like a really harrowing and depressing story, but that's where the term gaslighting comes from. It's when you I manage see. to convince someone that the truth is not true. Okay. You learn something new every day. Yeah. But anyway, this is just about a bit of an area cleanup. This is part number two, why I like um, the flower bed in the Forbidden Woods because it's actually a telltale sign of how to get to the area I need to go. Basically what I need to do is you, once you get to the flower bed, you hug the left side, you hug the left wall, basically the entire way. Hmm. With, um, I think one exception to go up to a ledge. Like, see, I'm already too far, so I need to go back and hmm. then, um, I need to look for where <coughs> this tiny, barely noticeable crevices. But I mean, it's not a hard find. Just, uh, you just need to know what you're doing. Because hmm. it's about right yeah. here, so. And look, see? I found it. Accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> but ooh, there are a bunch of these mushroomy things. You drop down, and it's a poison swamp. There has hey. to be one in every oh, Dark shit. Souls game. This is Bloodborne's. Thankfully, Bloodborne has the best poison swamp by virtue of it being tiny. Hmm. 
That's but it's be. still a poison swamp. Yeah, on top of the fall damage you took getting in. The fall damage yeah. and there are enemies. Like those worms that came out of that beast earlier. Yeah. Oh, ready? Ba 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 bum. I have no idea what you guys are humming, and I'm laughing I'm my so... ass off to it. It's Snake Eater. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Because Moving this is. You climb right back down. I'm going, shit, I forgot my gun. I forgot my gun. Better take the, Better take the long way down. <laughs> 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 But that's the joke everyone makes with this section because it's just two long ladders <laughs> <laughs> to get back up to genuinely one of the best moments of design I've ever seen in video games. We are back at the very beginning of the game. Nice. God damn it, Jack! Remember, also, so there was a gate that we couldn't access because it uh, was closed by a device. That's the gate. If you go left, you'll end up at Central Yarnum again. Hmm. But there's a reason we need to go here. That's cool. Uh, I like that. Just... Love Moon is about to read Yeah, I, I gained an insight because of how maddening that design was. Also, you pop out of a coffin if that isn't symbolic. Oh, um, no, you cannot open this door. It's no. Like... It's like those moments in, in Metroid where you get back to where the ship has landed. It's yeah. Cool. It's very similar to that kind of feeling. It's why I say the Souls series is a 3D Metroidvania. The only good 3D Metroidvania, I would add. Oh, hello, brain sucker. Hope you don't suck out all my currency. Money. Ow. Jerk, I just wanted your cash. Yeah, right. God. <laughs> so no, considerate. Yeah, just don't let that guy grab you. He hurts and he takes away money. <laughs> oh, so another like, ladder. Like. <laughs> I'm still in a dream. dream. Snake eater. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know if I'm ever going to actually play an actual Metal Gear Solid game. Though. They're fun. I have a buddy who hates Kojima and everything he writes, but he agrees that Metal Gear Rising is actually pretty good. <laughs> oh, Rising, yeah, but it, I don't think that one was actually wrote by him. No, it wasn't. It was written by someone else. I mean, he had yeah, some so involvement that, still. He did. Tiny bit, but it didn't have his. Let's make an hour-long cutscene. Yeah. Stuff. But if you look in the if you looked in the bottom right, you would have noticed the name Yosefka's Clinic. That is literally where we woke up at the very start of the game after making the character. Hmm. So now we're in the back rooms of it. Oh, great. Now we're going to be stuck with all the entities. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, but we were getting those anyway. <laughs> we took a blood transfusion from something we didn't know. Like, of course we were getting those. Uh, you open that chest, you get a neat little rune. I don't use it very much, but it's nice. At least I don't think I do. Oh, yes, I do. That's the best version of the higher blood vial maximum rune. Gives you three more healing items. Making that joke I made early, a few minutes ago makes me want to say, anytime we ever accidentally clip out of a boundary in one of our games, just have it suddenly cut into the back rooms. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't prove it's not canon! Like, just Photoshop the gray into <laughs> into the yellow of the back rooms. <laughs> but, huh. This is where we woke up. And that is a key item to get to a completely optional area that, unfortunately, I don't go to because it's worthless to me, but it is the best area in the game. Hello, little alien creature. <laughs> Uh, that is a celestial emissary. Life. Well, she kind of did. That is the possibly the first NPC you can talk to. That's Yosefka. Of course, she wasn't always like that. <laughs> but uh, I think I do kill her, and that's and the proof is in the pudding. 
You heartless bastard. Yeah, I do. I hope that item was worth it. Well, I actually mostly did it for lore reasons, and yes, it is worth it. That uh, this <laughs> item is amazing in mid combat. <laughs> But yeah, she was, uh, th her clinic was taken over and she was forcefully injected with some kind of alien thing that transformed her into that. And we're about to meet the person who usurped her. Oh, so we are putting her out of her misery, basically. Yes, we yeah, very much were. You just wanted to make sure we were still the good guys. No, <laughs> like, genuinely. It's like, no, Bloodborne no, no, is a very don't, depressing don't game. Don't misunderstand. We are still 100% the asshole in the entire world. Oh, no, especially in Dark Souls 3. Like, we're the bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, in, in Dark Souls 3, you literally cause the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of Magnus Archives, actually. Laugh. But anyway, here's uh, the fake Yosefka, courteously dubbed Fosefka. But some happening to her she's growing another alien kinda yeah she's uh for simplicity's sake I'm gonna say pregnant mm. oh please don't tell me she's Carl Weezer pregnant no good I was starting to get bad flashbacks of her being on her hands and knees mm. <laughs> yeah, I still hit it. <laughs> Alright, well, she unfortunately has an important item we need, so time to go. And she gives you the one third of umbilical cord. That is an item you need three of, three one thirds, so a whole, to unlock the true ending. There are four in the game. The so hell? there are four thirds. Do you get anything for getting all four? Yourself of it. <laughs> nope, you get nothing for getting all four, except for the insight you gain from con from uh, using them. You get three insight. I each, got you. Which I will show off because you need to have all three of them and use them or consume them. You literally eat them to unlock the true ending. Oh. This is what I mean when I say Bloodborne gets very Lovecraftian. Never I don't know why I used a bolt hunter's mark there. Instead. For everyone. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't know why I used a bolt hunter's mark there. I could have just walked out the exit back to Central Yardum. Welcome home. What is it? Very <laughs> Doll, you would not believe the things I've seen today. <laughs> I just killed two people, and they weren't even going to try and kill me. Who was this? Who was the first person? That alien chick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we were doing a good deed there. Yeah. Yeah, we were being a good Samaritan. We needed to do our one good karma point for the week. Yep. And that was it. We killed a murderer and then put the lady she murdered out of her misery. <laughs> <sighs> this is just poor planning. I didn't... I didn't realize that I was using the last of my blood echoes, and now I need to go sell more items. Good job. What consumables can I sell? Oh, I apparently have a frenzy of cold blood. Let's use that. Anyways, just to upgrade my hammer. Dom, you need to drop the hammer. The hammer of Dom? Hammer of Dom? <laughs> Dom. <laughs> Oh, spoiler warning <laughs> spoiler warning for Gears of War 3 a game that released in 2013 Dom <laughs> dies I know <laughs> y'all he did I haven't uh, played I'm Gears just... of War when I heard Dom I just thought of Fast and the Furious <laughs> but you were saying it, I was going to say if either of you ever watched Sanity not included that was one of the jokes they did watch what Sanity not included uh, the spoiler warning for Gears 3? Uh, don't, no. Uh, sorry, I'm, 
Can you tell I'm still tired? <laughs> a bit. That <laughs> part's over, by the way. Yeah, but we're still talking. You ever notice that? Well, I mean, yeah, but it's like, we could just end now. Strange, but isn't it? Maybe, maybe we could just keep talking and have the video be 30 minutes long. And cut it in three, two, one. <laughs>